dear students welcome back hope you all are keeping fine and studying through your online classes well today we are going to do one exercise on kinds of sentences the topic that we had discussed yesterday uh, three kinds of sentences a simple compound and complex sentences so today we shall attempt one exercise on it so that the things will get more clear to you and then i'll be giving you one assignment and i want you to do that assignment in your english notebook so let's start today's exercise so children this is what we had discussed yesterday we had uh, learned that how to differentiate between simple compound and complex sentence now today we are going to discuss this exercise so that the things will get more clear to you the exercise is that state which of the following sentences are compound and which are complex in the case of a compound sentence separate the coordinating clauses of which it is composed and mention the conjunction connecting these clauses if a sentence is complex divide it into its clauses and state the principal clause and the subordinate clause or clauses so basically we have to do two things in each sentence if the sentence is compound then you need to separate the clauses and then you need to tell the connecting conjunction that is connecting the two kind two parts of the sentence and if the sentence is complex then you'll have to tell that which portion of the sentence is principal clause which one is a subordinating clause now the first sentence is the horse reared and the rider was thrown now this is a compound sentence why it is compound because we have two parts two clauses in this sentence and both are principal clause both are main clause the horse reared the rider was thrown both are the principal clauses because it is also complete in its meaning and the rider was thrown is also complete in its meaning so both are main clause so we have two clauses both independent and connecting with the conjunction connecting conjunction and so this is a compound sentence second one walk quickly else you will not overtake him walk quickly is your clause main clause you will not overtake him complete in its meaning independent clause this is also independent clause this is a main clause this is a main clause principal clause or principal clause connecting with the conjunction else connecting conjunction okay so this is also a compound sentence third sentence my heart leaps up when i behold a rainbow in the sky my heart leaps up i behold a rainbow in the sky conjunction when this is a principal clause or the main clause this is also a principal clause or the main clause because this is also complete in its meaning independent this is also complete in its meaning it is also independent connecting with the connecting by conjunction so this is also a compound sentence fourth sentence the town in which i live is very large the town is very large is your main clause 
okay in which i live is your subordinating clause the town is very large main clause in which i live is a subordinating clause or you may say dependent clause because it is not complete in its meaning it's in itself and you don't have any conjunction over here in the sentence so this is a complex sentence why it is why it is a complex sentence because we do have one main clause and one subordinating clause a clause which is dependent on the main clause to complete its meaning and we are not having any connecting words in the sentence so this is a complex sentence next sentence either he is drowned or some passing ship has saved him so he is drowned is your main clause some passing ship has saved him is also your main clause because it is completed in its meaning the either and or are the conjunctions right compound conjunction so this is a compound sentence because we do have principal clauses two principal clauses and connecting with the conjunction so this is a compound sentence so this is all about the exercise dear children now i want to give you few sentences and you will be doing it in your own so that more clarity will be there now these are few sentences dear children you attempt them tell which kind of a sentences are these and you do them in your english notebook and we shall meet with the new topic in the next video thank you